Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's a special video because it's one that I personally looked up when I was starting my own fitness journey on YouTube and it's one of the things that really helped me get started with like fitness. Like I did, had no idea how to fitness because I was a gymnast my entire life and I was always just told to do by my coaches and now when I transitioned into the world of weightlifting and in the world of like eating healthy and if it's your macros and all these different things that I tried out, I always looked up videos like this to kind of get me started and to know exactly what I have to do because it was super overwhelming and super frustrating to me. Till this day, like if I need, if I'm changing it up a little bit, I like to watch someone talk about the beginner tips, the first things you have to focus on because those are the things that kind of get you started and get you the jump start to know what you're doing. And then along the way, you learn more about yourself and your body and what works for you and what doesn't. So I just wanted to go ahead and give you five fitness tips that any beginner has to know. And it's really gonna give you that extra push to be able to get started on fitness if you really want to change your body change your physical mindset your your health everything there's only good that can come from wanting to be a healthier and active person I mean I really think that it helps you be an overall better happier person so without further ado let's go ahead and get started with all the tips that you need to know to start your fitness journey tip number one have a plan now, what I mean by having a plan is don't go into this blindsided. Don't wake up on a Monday morning or any other day, but usually people start on Monday, you know what I mean? Don't wake up on that Monday and say, okay, I'm just gonna go for a run. Or okay, I'm just gonna look up on YouTube a video and just do that and eat healthier. No, you have to have a solid plan that you write it down, pen to paper, or you can do it on your notes, on your computer, on your notes, on your phone, anything. And that's because it's really gonna set you with the motivation and the tools that you need to move forward because you have something to look forward to and something to follow. And it's gonna be so exciting for you to wanna get to the next day, to wanna get to the next week, to wanna get to week four where it gets harder and then you can take your progress pictures and it's just having that plan really gives you the accountability to keep moving forward. Now, if you can afford it, I highly, highly recommend buying a plan from your favorite influencers. Now, if you don't follow any fitness influencers, that's probably one of the things that you should start off to as well. Maybe look through fitness Instagram, try to follow people who you admire their workout style, you admire their body type, you love the way they live their life and follow them so you can get inspiration. Because remember, we never want to be like other people. We want just them to inspire us to become our own best versions of ourselves. So if you guys don't know any fitness influencers, here are my top ones that I think you should follow. So you should go for Whitney Simmons, Natasha Oceani, Gabby Cheyenne, Mad Fit, and Megan Grubb. So these influencers all have a personality on YouTube and on Instagram. So then you can go and look through their YouTubes or look through their Instagrams and see if you like their workout style. They're all very different. And if you really enjoy hers, they might have a guide. Like for example, Natasha Oceana has a home guide. Whitney Simmons has an app that has a home guide for right now since we're kind of stuck at home because of the quarantine. So Whitney's app is $14 a month which I don't think it's too bad and you get in a workout every single day and it has a place where you can put progress pictures and your weight and this and however you want to track your progress. So I did it for four weeks when this whole quarantine started and I loved it because every day I was looking forward to this new workout that I had never seen before and it's all done for you and there's nothing better than having things done for you than rather having to think about it and then that's where the motivation kind of goes down and then you don't want to do anything because you get lazy. And that's what we don't want. You want to be motivated every day. And I really think that having a plan is the way to do that. Now, if you don't have the money to buy a guide, no problem at all. I suggest you write yourself your own plan two to three weeks in advance. What I recommend is that you look up on Google workout splits. A workout split is basically what body parts you're going to be working in that week or what type of workout you'll be doing in that week. So for example, it could be Monday legs, Tuesday arms, Wednesday pure cardio, Thursday rest day, Friday legs again, Saturday full body, Sunday rest. That's just an example of something that I've actually followed when I wrote my own plans. And then once you have what body part you want to work out that day, or if you want to do cardio, or if you want to do some type of different activity, then you can go ahead and go on YouTube and look up leg workout, upper body workout from these influencers or from there's so many people who do workouts online. And then you can save all the links of the workouts for that week that you're going to do. So you save one for legs, save one for arms, save a cardio workout. 
do all that and you save it on your computer so that way they're already ready and the day of you just see to see what we're gonna make today and you pull it up with the link and you don't have to think about it so it's really planning ahead maybe you can do it every sunday for that week that's what i do so every sunday i sit down and i see okay what am i going to work out this week i have all the links of the videos that i'm going to do and then i'm looking forward to it because it's something different from the week before so definitely keep yourself changing it up and keep yourself excited to do the workout. So don't add a workout to your little workout bundle of what you want to do on YouTube if you don't if you don't think you're going to enjoy it. If you're going to be the whole time like wondering when it's going to end. So definitely just pick the ones that look like they're going to be fun. Look through them, watch the video for a little bit just to see what kind of, kind of workouts you're going to do and what kind of exercises you want to do, what things you need for it because maybe you don't have the equipment and things like that. So I definitely recommend looking up everything in advance and then going ahead and starting your week so that way you are set to succeed. Tip number two, listen to your body and just make healthier choices. Now I'm the first person to tell you, count your calories, do macros, do this, that, because that's how I started. And to be honest, to a certain extent, I think people need to know and be aware of how many calories are in their food and in their everyday life because people might be thinking that they're not eating a lot but then when they actually write down everything they eat and they see the cal look caloric value of their day and it's so much more than they thought and that's probably why they're not seeing so much progress and it's because food is deceiving like in the amount of portions and things like i said you want to make healthier choices and i think that's the most easy and stressless way of doing this that's what i do because i think i've, got I've gotten too caught up in counting calories but i do recommend for one to three days maybe four less than a week just count your calories through my fitness pal it's an app on your phone and you can track everything that you eat in a day and you can scan it it's really easy really easy to use and you can see how much you're eating in a day so you know that you have to eat a little bit less or maybe you're like dang i have to eat a little bit more and how do you know how much you have to eat well definitely look up a calorie calculator on Google just type in calorie calculator for me you fill out all your information and then it tells you how many calories a day you would need for whatever goal you have so for weight loss to maintain to build muscle all that stuff so then you can see okay I am on track I ate about the right amount of calories I should a day then on out you just focus on eating healthier choices and keeping everything consistent now if you don't want to bother with calories and you don't want to know anything of that then power to you to be honest don't get stuck in that hole because People get overwhelmed with the numbers. So if you know that this is something that's gonna overwhelm you, all you have to do is focus on overall healthier choices. Live a healthier lifestyle. 80, 20, so 80% of the time, eat things that you know are healthy for you. And it's like, you know what's healthy for you and what's not. And the other 20% have things that maybe aren't the healthiest, but that's gonna feed your soul, feed your happiness, and keep you motivated to go on, rather than, when am I ever gonna have a cookie again? And also, you should think of ways that you can remake your unhealthier foods that you like to eat into healthier versions so that way you have the best of both worlds like every now and then you have a real pizza but i think that for the most part you can make a healthier pizza at home you can google how to make a healthier pizza and then you go ahead and have fun with that or healthier versions of cookies healthier brownies and things like that and then you find the healthier versions of unhealthy foods and you keep that going through as much as possible and then when you finally need a break go ahead and give in to that unhealthy version of that food Overall, your meals, you wanna make sure that you have a balanced meal in front of you. So you wanna make sure you can say, yep, I have some protein, yep, I have some carbs, and yep, I have some healthy fats. And that's the most important thing when you're creating a meal is to make sure you have a balance. Not too much more carbs than protein and not too much more fats than carbs and vice versa. You just have to make sure it's well-rounded and balanced. Sophie, before she edits because she forgot to say something. When you're focusing on the healthier foods, try to always have foods that are ready to eat inside your fridge. So always have like a packet of chicken that's already cooked for you. Have some brown rice, have some beans, have some pota potatoes, have some avocados that are ready to eat. Have everything that's ready because I promise you it's going to make the world of a difference when you want to eat something healthy and it's actually ready for you rather than you have to go ahead and make everything. You're going to go ahead and go for the easier option and the easier option is often not the healthiest. So always have foods ready and available and pre-cook everything on days where you're bored just to have chicken for the week, to have some type of grain for the week, to have fruits already cut up and washed. So that way you just have to open your fridge, heat it up, or you just grab it, put it in a bowl and it's done so eat when hungry stop when full it's easier said than done but the more you practice this is something i haven't mastered myself i'll eat till i'm absolutely to the point of complete fullness but it does help to constantly tell yourself 
if you're not hungry don't eat and just really listen to your body and the more you eat healthier foods i promise the more you're gonna crave them so don't think that in the beginning your body's not gonna crave a cheeseburger or like very unhealthy foods the more you eat the healthier choices your body will stop craving those foods because it's just not used to them anymore so you have to trick your body into thinking hey i'm trying to keep you healthier i'm trying to make you look better i'm trying to make you be in your best possible version of yourself so that's what your body's going to focus on and that's what it's going to crave number three this one you've heard so much i don't even think i have to go so in depth into it but if you have it and you need to hear it one more time drink water this is so important for like overall health and like just the number one tip human should do water is overall good for your health it makes you feel good it helps with bloating helps keeping you full and if you really can't stand the taste of water then i recommend getting like the crystal light flavor packets or get bcaa's which are um it's like a powder that you can get at a vitamin shop or like any health food store and to help for your muscles and you can add flavorings into your water like there's so many I, right now i'm stuck on a peach green tea one from crystal light and i put it in to my water just because i like to change up the taste because sometimes i really don't want i don't crave water you know what i mean so i like to get an iced peach green tea and it's only like five ten calories and it changes it up and then you get the water in your system that way without having to resort to like normal tap water because i know that sometimes that's not the the best to just drink and chug all day water is just so good for you there's so many benefits it helps your skin it helps your digestion, it's just look up the benefits of water and you're gonna be overwhelmed with how many. It's just such a sure and simple way to be a healthier person overall and to reach your goals. So why not do it? You're not losing anything, you're just gaining some water in your belly. Number four is to stay consistent. Now I made a video talking about what happens when you're feeling like you're not making progress and you might get you know, overwhelmed and you might get frustrated and in the first two weeks you don't feel like you're changing or anything like that. And I think it's very important to understand that it takes three to four weeks for a beginner to start seeing progress and it takes six to eight weeks for someone who's used to working out to see some type of change after changing their workout style or changing their food intake or stuff like that. So it takes some time. Don't get discouraged and don't throw in the towel just because you feel like you're not making the changes. Take as many pictures as possible. Every two days, take pictures of yourself. Every week, if you like to weigh yourself, do that. And just have a way to track your progress so you see that things are happening and it just might be a very slow process. But the good thing is that the slower your process is, the longer it's going to last. The quick results that people get by going on all these diets, they don't lead to anything because a week after that they are in their dream body and they, they mastered fitness, and then next thing you know, they've gained all the way back. And it's because those short-term results don't last long-term because they happen in a short period of time. So your body in that short period of time can go back to where it was. So you have to focus on making this a lifestyle change. This is something that's going to be happening for the rest of your life. Again, with the workouts, if you can't do a workout that you can't picture yourself doing for a couple of years because fitness takes years to be a part of and you're going to incorporate it into your daily life so if you don't enjoy it then what's the point you're not going to keep up with it and you're not going to stay consistent so make sure you like what you're doing and stay consistent and the second that you feel like you're getting bored boom change it up do a different type of workout stop working out from at home and start going bike riding start swimming start running start doing different things so that way you can stay consistent and you don't feel like you're staying stagnant in the same place all the time and number five this is just to focus on an active lifestyle not the end goal i kind of touched on this in the previous tip but overall just know that this is something you're going to want to be doing for the rest of your life think of an extended period of time and what makes you happy when it comes to fitness and make sure that you can do that for an extended period of time because again you don't want to get bored and the second that you feel like you're not enjoying what you're doing you're going to stop like that's a natural human thing that we're capable of so just focus on an overall active lifestyle and transition slowly don't think that from one day to the next like people who are who go vegan most of them don't last if they go vegan from one day to the next you know like it just doesn't work that way your body can't go into that shock so take it week by week and every week assess how, how you're feeling and if it's like okay that was a really easy week then you know you can bump up the intensity next week and just take it day by day week by week month by month and focus on something that you can maintain for a long period of time and i promise that the more that you engage in an active lifestyle the easier it's gonna be i do not think twice about working out 
okay i mean like maybe once or twice i do but for the most part i know that every day i work out whether it be going for a walk or whether it be doing an intense hit session with a youtuber online like i know it's part of my day it's engraved and i've n i again i never think twice about it and you're gonna get to that point too you just have to make sure that you're constantly trying every single day to stay active and then your body's gonna want to do it naturally and you're gonna feel so good after your workouts that you're gonna want to do it so i promise in the beginning it might be hard to find that motivation but there's nothing more motivating than seeing your body change than seeing you enjoy workouts than seeing your life just be overall better to want to keep going because i promise you that positive changes will come if you are a more active lifestyle if you drink your water if you do these workouts that get your heart rate up if you do things that make you happy if you stay consistent only good things can come from this so stay to it stay engaged stay focused this isn't a quick fix and to have an active lifestyle i really do think it makes for an overall happier healthier and fitter life Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I really hope these tips help you. If there's any other video ideas you guys would like, comment below or follow me on Instagram because I always ask you guys what type of videos I should make just to make sure you guys will actually watch these because I don't want to make videos that no one's kind of interested in. So thank you again. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below. It really supports my channel. And that's it for today's video. I'll catch you guys next time on next videos. I'm going to be uploading videos on Mondays and Thursdays. So I'll see you then. Bye guys. Thank you.